Avalanche Software about 48 hours ago or some, after an entire year of absence, finally revealed Hogwarts Legacy gameplay. They said it's a single player experience that includes co-op modes and not a multiplayer game at all, which kind of broke my heart. Anyway, the Harry Potter game over here is now officially an open world adventure set in the same universe, so to speak, school from the movies and will now launch during holidays this year. Check it out, this game is on its way to literally every single platform. Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw or Slytherin. After you settle into your dormitory, you will meet up with your housemates in the common room. You will then need to attend classes and you do have some catching up to do as you were starting Hogwarts late as a fifth year. So you are the new student. You'll begin your studies attending Charms, Defense Against the Dark Arts, Herbology and Potions classes to name a few. Ah, oh, hello, class. Please welcome the newest rose in our garden. Shall we begin? <laughs> welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. The best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Next up we have Warner Bros. Montreal that finally came up with a release date on Gotham Knights, an action game at heart, starring Batman's family and said this game will now be released on October 25. Five. What Gotham Knight really is at heart, though, is an open-world RPG that will let you play as not Batman, but Robin, Batgirl, Red Hood, and even Nightwing, where you can play the campaign either solo or co-op. Check it out. To accompany the news, they also came up with a brand new trailer. Right, Gotham Knights. On behalf of the whole team at WB Games Montreal, I'm really honored to give you a quick look at our gameplay. Belfry, Elliot Center is covered in ice. Whatever's causing this is localized at the top. Definitely We're going to look at a short clip from one of Gotham Knight's villain crimes in a pre-alpha build. This mission is halfway through the Mr. Freeze storyline, and we're playing Batgirl a dozen or so hours into her character progression. at Elliott Center. Air support inbound. Hostiles opening fire on upper floors. Air support, can you do a fly around? Freeze has All recently right. returned to Gotham with a mysterious agenda that involves manipulating the weather to flash Freeze's city. Guys, you all remember Stalker 2, right? I mean, literally the most hyped about survival horror open world game in the making since like forever, right? Well, nothing serious, but it'll no longer feature the title part of Chernobyl. It's now officially subtitled Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl, which is, I believe, how it is correctly spelled in Ukrainian. Anyway, this Ukrainian, uh, so to speak, gem of a game also got delayed due to the ongoing war and is now delayed to December 8th this year on coming to PCs and Xbox Series X only. Красоту эту. Не первый год в зоне, вроде примелькалась уже, а каждый день удивляет. They say the wonder is not that the field of stars is so vast, but that we have measured it 
Guys, you're all familiar with the term cyberpunk, right? Well, I don't know, but something tells me you've never heard about NASA punk, which is what Bethesda describes Starfield. Now, folks just came up with another dev diary for the game as well, detailing factions, dialogues, NPCs, and the world itself on pretty much the longest game in development space exploration RPG. Then you'll probably know this game is a Microsoft exclusive and coming to pieces and Xbox Series X only, November 11. Check it out. Check. That's why we're here. To discover what's out there. Good luck, Constellation. You are go for Coming up behind that, we have what Square Enix officially just announced to be the most visually impressive open world game ever. If we're talking next generation consoles, which I kind of doubt, to be honest, since there's a Horizon Forbidden West. But anyway, the game, Forspoken, for which they also came up with a brand new trailer, and the news that it's officially delayed, is now going to be released on October 11th, technically speaking, delayed about 5 months. Check this out. Let's finish this. Alright guys, Saints Row, which is without a doubt one of the most popular franchises of all time, that even goes back to almost two decades ago, has a new game in the making in the series with the same name, which is now scheduled to come out August 23 this year. Hitting pretty much every single console except Switch, and it's also coming to PCs. Here's the thing about this game, if you prefer your Grand Theft Auto or basically open world kinds of games in that way, with a dash of surreal comedy and have them pretty chaotic, I guess, Saints Row's definitely the one you should go for. Coming up next, it's the day before, an open world MMO survival set in a post-pandemic world, basically America, though overrun with zombies and the survivors and pretty much both sides killing each other for food and stuff. Now, we know that this game releases this some in fact, June 21st for the next generation consoles in addition to PCs with elements of both PvE and PvP. There's more also, in case you've missed it, this is how the game will run on your PCs with Nvidia supports ray tracing.
just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. Look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Now, I've mentioned this one a couple of days ago, that supermassive games developers of Until Dawn just revealed their newest next project going by, The Quarry, a spiritual successor to Until Dawn actually and touted as a horror adventure game at heart. Although taking clues from other games such as The Thing and even The Evil Dead franchise and including an online co-op option too. Check it out, this game is set to come out June 10 and on basically every single console in addition to PCs. Except Switch. Mm -hmm. ah! Maybe it was the bears. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like zombies, aliens, time hopping Draculas. Uh, Ryan? Hey! Run! Anybody <laughs> needs to happen, please! We ain't playing games no more, little girl. There's something, there's something coming! One. Ah! Silent. Two. Lost. Max. We're lost. Three. Terrified kids are bad for business. You have to cut it off! Cut it off! Cut it off! Anyway, maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Sorry. Just stick to Kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do Kumbaya anymore? The tide of war has turned. The Axis is on the run. An animal is always most dangerous when it's cornered. Unser Sieg ist zum Greifen nahe. And the Reich is baring its teeth. Well, alright, this comes from no more than a month ago, but Rebellion's bringing Sniper Elite 5 to consoles and PCs this year with a brand new online campaign. The setting is now moved from Italy to France, and come to notice there will be an all new thing called the this in invasion mode, which I don't really get the hang of it, but you can see through the trailer. So check it out, this game is coming to both generation of consoles with crossplay support as well, we here on May. 26. You are a dead man. We've done our job and paid the price. I'm coming for Operation Kraken and for you. Meine Frage aus dem Ozean erheben und zerstören. Yo, Scorn just received the new release date and it's now launching October mid to late this year. Coming to Xbox Series X and S and also PCs, which is basically a Microsoft pretty much acting as a Microsoft exclusive. They even came up with another trailer for which to celebrate this announcement. But just in case you're somehow new here, just go ahead and make sure to check this out. If you're into games such as Agony, which is basically a mature rated kinds of horror game. your side or choose to use a weapon from a more civilized age as you wield a lightsaber against the saga's most sinister villains well, truth be told, since you all know LEGO Star Wars and Skywalker Saga, actually one of the most anticipated games of this year, is on its way to the hybrid console already and other consoles as well come April 5, you might as well consider this, that the game's actually getting an extended DLC including content from The Mandalorian and Rogue One. Not just that, two further DLCs also going by the classic characters and trooper packs will also be available on day one and due out on April 19th and May 4th, respectively. Check it out in case you missed us. Galaxy map and chart your course. Space travel comes with its own set of exciting encounters. Be prepared to engage in exhilarating dogfights against enemy ships or take on incredible missions as you pilot legendary vehicles. And when you're ready, make your descent to the next adventure. That was one heck of a pilot! Every episode in the saga is full of fun and exciting levels, many with multiple routes to progress through so you can charge in boldly or find a more stealthy approach. What is the problem out there? In the field in Redfall, Massachusetts. 
behind me. We are witnessing clear signs of cult activity as the locals engage. Hey! Oh, to all of you battle royal enthusiasts, Arkham Studios will developers behind Redfall, which was announced at last year's E3, just confirmed that this game is actually, indeed, a team-based first-person shooter and pretty much in the same vein as the Left 4 Dead franchise, albeit putting players against supernatural entities such as, well, obviously, vampires and more. That's and this, Redfall, releases in summer 2022 for PCs and Xbox Series X only, meaning it's a Microsoft exclusive as well. for a deeper dive into a very cool feature, playing as the Kandarian Demon. Uh, Evil Dead, the game, is as of this moment set to release May 13th and is now coming to both generation of consoles, PCs and also the Nintendo Switch. The game, what Evil Dead, will let you play with up to four other players in multiplayer, decide to either be a good guy or instead take control of the villain to stop everybody else in case you prefer. Check it out, this game will now actually include a single player mode as well. It's your call. Jump in with three friends to save the day or punish the high-minded heroes. It's all in the name of mayhem. Bloody, terrifying, mayhem. Guys. Sons of the Forest, on the other hand, a successor to its open world survival horror series previously going by Forest, um, came our way December last year with its official gameplay, news that it's now headed to PCs only and on May 20th, acting as a survival horror game at its core, only a co-op one. Here's actually what you can expect before Sons of the Forest hits the market. This game is now also coming to the PlayStation 4 on the same day. Warhammer Dark Tide, which is a first-person also four-player action co-op. In case you're not new to the franchise revolving around the new cult trying to take over the planet. This game is pretty much in the same vein as the series' predecessor, Vermintide, but unlike most, it's actually going to be available on PCs and Xbox Series X only, basically acting as a Microsoft exclusive. In any case, however, this is how the game will eventually look like.
And last but not least, we have this drive on limited solo crown that went on and got itself a release date of September 22nd that is now in development for PCs, consoles, and even the Nintendo Switch via the cloud service. Believe it or not, this is at the moment the longest awaited entry in its racing series and it's an open world MMO kind of like Forza Horizon, however it goes back to almost 25 years back. Check it out in case you're wondering, this is how the game actually looks like.